everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my seven day self-portrait prep video. If you don't know what the seven day self-portrait challenge is, it's basically a challenge that I made up to keep me inspired and I've done it twice now. So I did once in October 2017, then April 2018 and now it's nearly October 2018. That is crazy. It's almost been a year since I did my first one. The challenge consists of shooting a self-portrait a day for seven days but I also upload a video onto my channel here every single day as well. I created this challenge to inspire me to shoot every day for seven days and see what I could create in those seven days and how they, how the images differ from each other and what type of images I create and it was really interesting to see the um, evolution of my images throughout the seven days on both of the ones that I've done before. We as photographers and artists always like to evolve our style and within seven days you evolve pretty quickly and that's what I quite liked the idea of. I know there is projects like the 365 project, the 52 week project which I have done one before but a seven day burst just gives me a bit of reassurance that I'm on the right track and I also can get it done within a week. It just gives me something like a timeline, a guide. And I also wanted to encourage people out there to also create within a seven day period because at the end of the day, it's only a week. What's a week out of your life? You can take it off work, you can take it off school. Without further ado, I will get on with this video. Today, I'm gonna to be prepping my ideas. I did this, I think, both times last time, but I wanted to do it again in a little different way because last year I used the whiteboard. And as you can see, this is now a brown board, flipped it over because on the back there is a lot of writing that I can't get off. The whiteboard mark has stained and I can't get it off. And I am going to draw my ideas down on paper and then stick them on the board. I always prep my ideas before the challenge because I like to create props for the challenge. You know, my challenge is to create a video and an image a day. So I have to think about all the logistics of how to create the video, how to make it aesthetically pleasing, how to tell a story through that video. but also how to tell a story through the image, what props do I need, what angles, blah blah blah. This is why I do the idea beforehand and that way I can always wake up on the day and I know exactly what I'm going to do and where I'm going to do it and when and how. Let's get started! I've written down a few ideas, I've got a few props to show you that I'm going to be using. This time I'm not making so many props, I think I've got one or two props that I want to make that are not as big as last time and not as elaborate and just a bit more simple this time. I want to take it a bit more simple. I say simple, but you'll see what props I've got in a minute. <laughs> One idea that I did really, really want to do is a ring, a massive ring of flowers. I'm not sure how I want to do it, but I feel like flowers is something that I want to focus on in this image that I've got here, or this idea. I have a book where I keep all my ideas and I've had that idea in my head since probably about three years ago. So I decided to do it on this project and I need to create the ring of flowers. I don't know if you can see that. It is a pencil drawing of a flower ring, but really it's not, it's just circles. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that on the board. So my next idea is one that I have been shot with recently, but I can't tell you what for or how or even show you the image yet because it is a bit of a secret at the moment. I bought this amazing drum. Oh no, you've seen it. You've seen this drum, haven't you? A prop that I bought on the HomeSense challenge with Joe. I'll link that challenge below, but I really want to shoot with it again for this challenge. So that is something that I'm going to shoot with. Not really sure what I want to do with it yet, but I have got an image of a drum here. I'm going to draw over them. So that is my next idea. A drum. Another idea that I've been toying with for a while is involving a pretty cool prop that I've used on a, sh a couple of shoots before. I really want to use it again, it is this mirror and you'll be able to see yourself there. I kind of have some ideas for it but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet but I'm going to write that down and then obviously I can think about that. So, so we've got three. So another idea that I've been thinking of doing for a while is involving a big black piece of foam board. This is more of a refined idea, so I feel like I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. But the idea was to get a massive piece of black foam board and do some holes in it and then put body parts coming through it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put through it. It could be my face, it could be my hands, it could be my feet 
could be anything. So I'm just gonna write it down and then I'm gonna establish it more when I actually come to shoot it. Plus I need to make the prop or I need to make the board. The only thing is that I think I'm gonna struggle with is cutting out perfect circles. It might be a case of photoshopping the circles when I cut them. Or photoshopping the edge of the circles anyway because they're probably going to be a bit messed up. I've got four ideas on the board which means I need three more because it's going to be seven days obviously. And I do have some contingency ideas that I'm not going to actually put out there today. I just want to get the base ideas that I think that I'm going to use. Another idea and prop that I've got is something that I picked up in Scotland when I went to Scotland in August. I think we were travelling over the Cairngorms, the Cairngorms National Park, which is really, really cool. You should definitely go check that out if you're in Scotland. We came to this like area where you could just like look out and it was amazing and everyone was stopping. But we saw this, this diamond shaped rock on the floor and I was like, Jack, pick it up because I really want that. And Jack was like, we can't pick it up. That's a bit weird, like taking it. And I'm like, I collect rocks. When I was younger, this is a fun fact, I actually used to collect rocks and dress, <laughs> this is really embarrassing, but dress them up in Barbie clothes and also put faces on them. I was a bit of a weirdo, but that is what I did. And I actually do still do it. I don't put Barbie clothes on them and I don't put faces on them, but I do still collect rocks from around the world. I have a few ideas of what I want to do with it. Because it is diamond, I sort of thought about maybe doing something geometric or have me sat on top of it really miniature but yeah I think that's one of those things where I'm just gonna have to shoot on the day and see or maybe just draw down a few ideas and even if I don't use the rock I feel like a diamond shape is gonna appear in this challenge somewhere we've got five on the board and that means we need two more I went to Sainsbury's the other night and we were walking through the Halloween aisle because it is obviously gonna be Halloween soon and the project will be closer to Halloween so I was thinking on day seven, do like a Halloween themed image. I was walking down the aisle and I saw this prop. It is a bat, if you don't already know what it is. And I really liked it, so I picked it up. I'm not really sure yet. I feel like I might change myself into the bat or put loads of bats around me. That looks really cool. I'm very excited to shoot with that. I might pop them up here. You stay there. <laughs> I love how I write the names down on these, like, you don't know what it is, it's a bat. And finally, on to, not day seven, but the seventh idea. I have been thinking about shooting with plants and greenery and succulents and all things jungle for ages. I've sort of got into being a plant mum recently. I bought myself a little watering can. I've just watered my plants now. I've just enjoyed keeping them and they bring a bit of life to the room. They make me feel happy when I look at them. Yeah, and we got a little garden this year. I think I might have explained it on my Instagram stories, but outside we don't actually have a garden. So we just made a little garden ourselves and put loads of plants in it and just made it look cool. And we grew some chilies and I just loved growing things. I feel like that's something that I really enjoy doing. I'm in my office at the moment, but I've moved it around. So I've swapped walls with my desk. I've made a little area for prop making. So I was like, I need a jungle in my office because that's just gonna make me happy. And we went to the garden center and I saw this little plant. And I've seen about these before. There's a girl on YouTube called Toki Doki Traveller. I'm not actually sure of her name, I can't remember, sorry. But she had air plants in her little Japanese apartment. Like I never really knew that they existed. I came across this little air plant and I really enjoyed looking at it. And it gave me joy and I thought I need that in my life. So here it is. It's just so cute, I love it. I'm not sure what it's called actually, let's have a look. Tillandsia. It's pretty much a plant that doesn't need to be in soil, but I thought I'd give it a go and become a mum of an air plant. I need to get myself a little spray bottle so I can spray it, because apparently that's what you're supposed to do. But anyway, this is my inspiration for the last idea. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this actually as a prop, I feel like I want to use plants, but I'm not sure if I want to use this, this one in general. That's all my ideas on the board. I'm very happy with the sort of outcome of this because they're all a bit different from each other. If you know from my last challenge, every image 
for some reason became coherent with the, the next. It just happened that way. I felt like the weather had an impact on it. The way that I was shooting, the cold, because I was very cold. So all the images came out really blue toned, which I really enjoyed doing. But this time I wanted to sort of challenge myself to do something very different each day. Whether that's gonna happen, who knows? We'll find out on the week. Just as a recap, we've got the round flowers, we've got the drum, we've got the round mirror, the black sheet with holes in, the diamond rock, plants, jungle green, the prop, I'm not really sure, and then the bat. Last time I was at home in Doncaster with my parents doing the shoot, this time I'm gonna be doing it again down south. I'm thinking of switching it up next year, so not actually doing a seven day project. I'm thinking of doing a 30 day project. Maybe if I've got a quiet month, 30 days. Do you think I could do it? Would you like to see it? Maybe I would switch it up and not actually do a video a day. Maybe I'd do it every like two days or every week, once a week, but who knows? <laughs> Let me know if you are doing this project with me. I encourage everyone to join along with me with the hashtag 7 days with Holly on Instagram, Facebook and all the rest of it. Just so that I know that you're like joining in on the challenge. You don't have to post a video. Just post a self-portrait each day for 7 days. Whether you join in for 1 day, 2 days, 5 days, the whole week. You hashtag those images and I'll have a look at them because yeah, it just gives me a bit of inspiration as I'm going along because it becomes quite intense that week. I enjoy watching what other people are doing as well, so yeah, let me know if you're joining in. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up with this challenge and also go and check out my Instagram because I will be posting before and afters and everything on that week. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!